Welcome to Dragon Masters, Eye of the Earthquake Dragon Questions and Activities. In this video, we'll be going through and answering the five questions at the back of the book. The questions are timestamped in the video description down below, so feel free to jump around to your preferred question. I'd also like to suggest that you pause this video and come up with your own answers and compare them with mine. All right then, let's get started. On to the first question, which reads, What makes Dragon Masters Yuri and Zelda so powerful? The book suggests that you reread pages 26 and 32, so let's check out the relevant passages. On page 26 it reads, The powers of these Dragon Masters remind me of Iko, the master of the Thunder Dragon, Drake thought. Iko learned how to tap into the powers of her dragon. They made her very strong. On page 32 it reads, Drake had a question. When we first saw you, you were floating in a ball of energy. Were you tapping into the Naga's powers? Uri smiled. Yes, we were connecting with the Naga, he said. The Naga's energy is so strong that it lifts us off our feet, Zelda explained. Now it looks like the Dragon Masters can tap into the powers of his or her dragons. Uh, tapping into or tap into is a phrase that means you are accessing or borrowing from someone or something that is more powerful than you. Now, not every dragon master can tap into his or her dragon's powers. Uh, for example, Drake asks or commands Worm to do something, but he has yet to tap into Worm's powers. I guess he needs more training. Okay, let's move on to question two, which reads, Griffith gives Drake a magic mirror. What powers does this mirror have? The book suggests that you reread pages 15, 53, and 76. So let's check out those relevant passages. On page 15 it reads, Take this magic mirror with you, Griffith said. You can use it to contact me, and I can contact you with mine. On page 53 it reads, Maldred said, Drake, I sense that you have a magical object with you an object that acts as a portal to Bracken. Portal? Drake asked. Then he understood. Drake held up the magic mirror. Excellent, Maldred said. Gaze into it and tell me what you see. And lastly, on page 76 it reads, Drake obeyed. The wizard was still spinning, caught up in the dragon's powers. The glittering powder streamed from the mirror and surrounded Maldred. Now it looks like the magic can do quite a few things. Uh, first, it can be used to communicate with one another, uh, much like how we can use cell phones to communicate with, uh, with our friends. Uh, second, it can be used as a portal, which is another fancy word for doorway or entrance, or, or to some extent, a window to something. Third, the mirror can transport objects. In this case, it was used to stream the glittering powder from Griffith's workshop to the Naga's temple which turned Maldred into hundreds of red flies. Now the last ability is what I like to have the most. Imagine ordering toys or takeout uh, and having it appear in front of you in a blink of an eye. And that's something that I would love to have. Let's move on to question three, which reads, How does the Naga create earthquakes? The book suggests that you reread page 51. So let's check out the relevant paragraph. On page 51 it reads, The Naga's energy is connected to every place in the world, Maldred said. When the Naga turns his eye to a place, the earth there shakes. So it appears that the Naga only needs to look at a certain place uh, to cause an earthquake. It is later mentioned that the Naga is a peaceful dragon, so that must mean he must have his eyes closed most of the time, if not all the time. Now that got me thinking. The Naga's eyes are visible through the round door opening in the Naga's temple quite a few times throughout the story, but no earthquakes took place in the temple. Now, well, perhaps Naga's temple is the only exception to this rule. Now, let's move on to question 4, which reads, In chapter 13, the Dragon Masters use Griffith's glittering powder. What does the powder do to Maldred? The relevant passages appear in page 76 and 77. It reads, the glittering powder streamed from the mirror and surrounded Maldred. The Dragon Masters watched as the powder swirled with Maldred. 
his body transformed into hundreds of buzzing red flies. Dharma held out the empty bottle, and the flies flew right into it. Dharma sealed it with a stopper. Good work, Griffiths called out from the mirror. Did your spell just turn Mildred into a bunch of flies? Jean asked. Yes, Griffith replied. So it appears that the glittering powder turned Mildred from a person into hundreds of buzzing red flies. Now, although Mildred is an evil wizard, I don't think he should have been turned into hundreds of buzzing red flies. But then he did destroy the kingdom of Bracken. What do you think? Do you think his punishment fits the crime? Let me know. Last, but certainly not least, let's look at question five. The last question asks, write and draw what you think will happen next with Maldred. Make sure to use the words first, then, and finally to guide your story. Now here's my take on what happened to Maldred. First, Maldred would have turned back into himself uh, from hundreds of red flies since he is a very powerful wizard. However, a few red flies would remain and bug him inside the small bottle. Now everybody knows how irritating it could be when you're trying to sleep in a room and hear flies or worse mosquitoes around you. Then Maldred would try escaping the small bottle only to find he is stuck with the naga. Now he'll try to control the naga uh, but would be unsuccessful since he no longer has the silver and gold keys. Finally, he would try to escape by shooting red balls of magic onto the round doorway in the Naga's temple, much like how he attacked the Dragon Masters. But the doorway would be too strong, forcing him to remain within for the rest of eternity. What do you think? Do you think Maldred may come back to fight Drake and the other Dragon Masters? Only one way to find out. Let's keep on reading. All right, thank you all for watching this video. If you like what you see, please like this video or leave a comment. Until next time, take care and goodbye.